Hello friends, let me tell you a story. I got my wisdom teeth out a couple days ago, so my cheeks are a little big right here. I'm gonna be getting ready. I'm not gonna be putting on a lot because, um, you know, I got my wisdom teeth out and I'm not really able to put too much pressure on this, like to remove makeup or bounce it in. So I'm first gonna moisturize my face. I have to moisturize my eyes separately because my face moisturizer says don't get near the eyes and then if you do get it near your eyes, it burns. It burns so freaking bad. Also, I just got out of the shower, so we're just gonna... Guys, this is the um, number seven. I don't know if that's, I don't know. I think it's number seven. I don't know how to bring, I don't know early defense day cream so i have the day and the night cream and then on the eyes i use this rodan and fields active hydration bright eye complex i have different stuff that i put on my face at nighttime if you guys wanted to see that but i have to moisturize my face because i have literally like the driest skin in the whole entire world yeah the best stuff ever. Only when I talk my face moves more than this. It's not moving a lot. <laughs> if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should go down and follow it below. We're just gonna move my bangs to the side really fast and we're gonna do my eyebrows. Okay, so this is what I use on my eyebrows. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, Prom Pr Brow Pomade in Blonde. I've just been feeling kind of gross, so I decided that I would get ready. There's an arch right there. My eyebrows are kind of a mess. It needs to stay in focus. <laughs> They're pretty much a mess. They're, they're small, little, tiny, hairy things. I shaved off the, like a little while ago, I shaved off this part, like the tail of it. So it's in the process of growing back. Do I want it to grow back? Not really. <laughs> if you guys are from my Instagram account and you're watching this from coming from there, that's exciting. Hello. You guys have never heard me speak before. So, hey, what's up? Um, there's a video, like, I think it's like my very first tutorial video. And my boyfriend's in the background playing my Xbox on it. And someone commented and was like, does nobody else think it's hilarious that her brother's in the background just playing xbox and i commented back and i was like uh that's my boyfriend not my brother um i am recording on my phone only the best quality for you guys is i don't have a camera okay i'm sorry if you guys didn't know i'm 18 um i'm on my last couple months of high school so i'm gonna be out of high school soon stay in school kids um i'm almost out of concealer so that sucks I'm extremely pale so if you guys ever have a comment about foundation or something's too dark for me I know you know what I mean like I know that it's not the right color this one's not this one's fine but with my foundation I have to mix it with this concealer so that it matches my face and that's because I'm so freaking pale and they don't have any shades that match my skin color anywhere. Let me teach you a secret. Sometimes, okay, I have a HD setting powder from e.l.f. I think. And it's white and what I'll do is I'll get something and I'll scrape the top and I'll make it into like a powder. And then I'll use it as like a loose powder with my beauty blender. But this... It's just a regular powder. I'm still gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just gonna rub it across and I'm still gonna set. <laughs> Be 
big fluffy brush. This is a blush brush actually, but I use it for powder. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show you something. You just saw my double chin, how did you feel? This is what I always use to prime my eyelids. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I am, I do have concealer on that area, right? What used to pick up like any concealer or powder or any coverage that was underneath there and just like make it look absolutely terrible. Do you see that right there? And like picked up all of the concealer that I put. So I'm using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Ring the alarm. I'm gonna take brush right here i'm gonna put this into oh my god into my crease i'm just gonna blend it in there okay i have to go do my laundry so give me a little bit okay friends apparently we're running late so i need to chop chop speed it up so, one more time if i do that one more freaking time i swear I should just not prime this eye. We're gonna test out primer, okay? We're gonna do this side without the primer and this side with the primer, and we're gonna see how they differ. The color just looks better on this eye. It looks like two different colors on that eye. I'm gonna take framed, and we're gonna throw this on the outer crease area, honestly. It doesn't look that blended and it's kind of driving me crazy. And it's like today is the day to look ugly, okay? Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I had to do more laundry. What we're gonna do next is add a little shimmer. I think I want a shimmer. I think I'm gonna go with Lolly. Or do this one. Don't throw it. Do you have water? That's my water. It's a tiny bit. It's okay. I'm not really happy with how that looks at all. It looks too pink. But we're gonna try to go over it with boom. Oh, that's better. We need some liner. This is the NYX Epic Ink Liner right here. And I don't like this eyeliner. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it just, it doesn't dry matte. It has like a sheen to it. It settles, no, oh, you can't see. It settles into the lines of your skin and like on your eye. When you're doing your eyeliner, you'll be like just having a great time and you make it perfect and then it'll start like going into the creases of your skin and it'll like go up and make everything just like look terrible. Mascara. I'm gonna use the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit. How are you? My cheeks are big. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> lashes. I put them in this box um cuz I got eyelashes from these people once and they were really nice and it was a really nice box but the lashes um they got bad so I had to throw them away but I kept the box so I could keep lashes in them. I'm using Azrito Cosmetics lashes. If you use code Aspen10 at checkout, you will get 10% off on your order. So that's exciting, isn't it? Super exciting. Here's my glue. I'm almost out of glue. Every time I try to get it out of this thing, it's all nasty right now because of how old it is, but like, 
and I try to squeeze. See what I mean? Like I try to squeeze them out and like the whole entire thing comes out. I don't actually wait for them to get tacky just in case I need to move them around. But I set it on right in the middle, just like that. And then I'll set down the outer corner. And then I'll grab the inner corner. And I'll set that down. And sometimes, because the glue isn't tacky, it's not gonna stick down right away. You know what I mean? So you just have to like keep moving them around and about. Until they're ready to stick down. So this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay, right? Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in the color Parte. Okay, highlighter. So we have a wet brush now. And what we're gonna do with this wet brush is go into the Lorac um, Cosmetics Highlighter in Starlight. And we're just gonna dip into it. Okay, friends, so this is my outro. I did my bangs. I didn't do the rest of my hair because it's so a little damp. But this is the ending result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry I've been gone because of my wisdom teeth. But I did record for you guys today, so don't be buttholes about it, okay? Okay. My bangs are a little funky. It's fine. Bye. I love you guys so much. Mm -hmm. Uh...